I'm John Mills. I wish I went down the early goal, but you fought back magnificently. Must be really proud of your side's fighting through this match. Yeah, it was. Because um, it's never easy. When you make a mistake like we did like early on in the game, you can easily uh, put your head down and, and crumble. And uh, But we kept on trying to play. And 11v11, uh, 11 11, I thought that we were, we were dominating the ball, creating chances, and then where they had the player sent off. And then it becomes a little bit different because you're not used to playing against 10 men. It's the first time we've done it this season. But we kept on playing, which was which is really good in that first half, and we got uh, our awards and thought we were going in two one at half time. Um, but then credit to, to Brisbane because they needed to come out because they need the points, and uh, and they changed that up. They went to a four at the back um, and and tried to press us and uh, and made it hard. And then uh, you know the players start to feel that fatigue factor come into play because not used to the conditions, but they're really pleased uh, that we got the result because it's it's a big three games in one week and to be able to come up here and get the result, it's it's good for us. You mentioned it's a third game of the week to start to your first win in, in three games. It must be really important in the context of the league to, to get back on the winning team. Yeah, it's important. Look, we're not really looking at the table too much yet. We're just wanting to get back to winning ways and, and uh, get uh, you know that feeling of winning again. That's really important uh, because we've had a tough little period. You know, we played Melbourne City, Melbourne Victory um, and also Sydney FC in there. Um, so for us, it was good to get that win. Plus, it's the first time we came from 1-0 down. Um, so now they get that belief because um, you know, at first, you know, people talk about it, which is normal. Um, but we spoke about it uh, last week that you know we've only been down four times in a game. So uh, you know, this was the fifth, and, and we got the result that we wanted. Uh, first off, for this team, must be really happy. Yeah, yeah, really happy because you know he's a promising young player um, that you know we've been playing a little bit because uh, we've been short of numbers. We've got some really good and experienced players out, and you need your younger players to to perform. And Adisu has been doing that. He's he's come into not only the side but into training and and working hard on his game. And uh, so pleased that you know he's a player from the, the west of uh, Melbourne as well, which is great for us. And uh, you know, he, he comes from uh, within the, the club, from the academy. He played in the NPL 3 last year. So it's, it's great news for the club. We And uh, hopefully this keeps on going the way it's going. Obviously, your first game back uh, in Brisbane, but also as well for Jamie and uh, Dylan. Was there any extra motivation or pressure going into this game uh, as far as... Uh, not from my side. From my side, it was another game. Maybe from Jamie, he felt a bit of pressure. <laughs> I don't know because it's uncharacteristic from him to to make that mistake. He's been unbelievable for us all season, and uh, and you know I, I like the way he reacted. You know because it's hard when you make a bad mistake like that. You can easily you know try and hide and not want the ball and not want to you know do your job properly. But he kept on coaching out there, and and he was uh, he was leading from the back for us. So. I was pleased uh, for Jamie because you know if we went away losing that he would have felt really bad. But uh, you know at least we got the three points and he doesn't need to feel so bad from it and, and move on and not worry about the, the mistake because we you know we all make mistakes and we're a team and we uh, win and lose together. And also as well with this low goal just before half time, um, what were your thoughts at time? You know as far as was was the offside? You know was. Yeah, oh, look, I have to go with VAR if they think it's offside. You know, it's we've been unfortunate really with some of our VAR calls at the moment. But um, again, the players don't look for an excuse and don't complain too much in the, that they lose their focus. And uh, we've been drumming that into them from the you know the first day of training that if you get a decision go against you, just you know move on, react in a positive way, not in a negative way. You know, because you can easily lose your focus and then you, you lose the, uh, what you're trying to do and, and your structure and then uh, the boys didn't do that. The goal wasn't allowed, move on and then let's try and get the next one. So even the penalty, you know, we, we felt that it might have been a little bit harsh, um, but you know, the boys just went, OK, we have to dig in now. Uh, it's not easy for me when you, you, you're 3-1, you think you're comfortable and then the last five minutes you, you have to hang on. But um, the boys did that uh, really well towards the end. Any on Zoom? Um, uh, hi, John. Congratulations first on the win. Just wanted to ask you, today's game, one of the rare games where your side had more of the ball, significantly more than the ball than your opposition. What did you make of your team's attacking performance in these circumstances? In the first half, uh, really good. 
Um, I thought that uh, we shifted the ball well and were creating and uh, openings and, and chances. Um, and I was pleased with that because, and that was with 11 v 11. Um, you know, so th that I was pleased about because you have to be patient and you have to shift them and wait for the right opening and, and we're finding the right uh, scenarios. We had a few good chances within that. Um, in the second half, less so. We, we, we knew that we should have uh, probably been better with the ball. Um, but again, you know, uh, the fatigue factor comes in and uh, you, you stop playing or stop wanting the ball as much as you should. And, uh, and then Brisbane pushed. And, and uh, so, you know, again, we have to give credit to them. But um, in the first half, I was pleased uh, with the ball, what we were able to do, and plus limit then. They didn't really have any chances in that first half. We gave them the goal and we gave them probably the other chance that they had. Um, because we were well positioned and we, we were able to stop uh, the counter if we did lose the ball up higher, which is always a risk as well. Uh, acknowledging that you did have two goals disallowed, but you've had 15 shots today, only three of them on target. How do you improve on that? Is it just another day the boys' radars are on? How do you go about putting more of these shots on the net? Oh, look, yeah, on another day, yeah, maybe uh, the boys will hit the target the, more often. You know, we, we've done it in the past that we've been able to hit the target. We, uh, the good thing is that we're, we're still finding ways to score. Um, you know, even when we're creating good openings, we know that we have to get better when we're getting into those positions. And we know that, you know, we should be scoring on uh, probably a more regular basis in terms of because the chances we're creating. But, you know, we don't stop getting in those areas and, and we keep on going because that's the last bit of the game that we go, we know that we can improve even more. Um, you know, at the start of the season, we weren't scoring a lot. Now we're starting to score a lot more uh, regularly and, um, and we've got different players to step up and score, which is uh, also exciting for us. And given that it was such a game-breaking moment, what did you make of the red card? I thought it was a red. I thought it was a red. I thought that um, Lockie went around the keeper. I think if the keeper doesn't take him, then Lockie's got a goal, empty goal, and he was getting to the ball before the defender was. So I think that uh, that stopping a clear goal-scoring opportunity in terms of not even a goal-scoring opportunity, it's an empty goal. So uh, in my opinion, it was a, a red card. And um, yeah, look, I was actually hoping that he didn't take him down so then we would have scored because uh, we, we were very good with 11 v 11. And I know how difficult it is sometimes to play against 10 because you know, you're expected to you know, dominate and then the players get a little bit nervy and a bit anxious um, because they're not dominating as much as they should. So, um, but you know, it was uh, a red card in my opinion. And just lastly from me, uh, John, first goal you conceded from Brisbane's press reminiscent of Sydney's third last week. How do you go about cutting down these errors? Yeah, that, that was a little bit different. A little bit different because we, yeah, a little bit different. Youngie usually his decision making is, is uh, very good there. Um, he just made a bad mistake. Um, so that uh, I'm not too worried about that. And the, and the way that we want to play, so if they press us like that and we're able to play through them, like we did against Victory last week, Victory pressed us a lot at times and we were able to find the solution. And Youngie's decision making was great. Um, but last week then the final third wasn't probably what we wanted it to be. So I'm not going to stop Youngie uh, from playing and uh, because he's been very good with his decision making. Well, for me. Thanks, mate. No more on Zoom. Perfect. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.